Hello everyone, my name is Ruby and welcome back to another video. Today we have some very exciting stuff done, which includes getting a water, which is going to be very cool, I think. So I'm really excited for that, we're going to also do some other stuff. But first we're going to kill the water, so, yeah. We actually died before we did it. <laughs> it's right there, I'm gonna pick it up in a second and we'll see. New recipe unlocked and we can make a beacon. Alright, let's crack this. So if I remember correctly, this should be the recipe we need and it is. Let's craft it and this is given achievement. But if we place it, well, nope, I got it. No achievement. Okay, it does not give an achievement apparently. But I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an entire full beacon setup and I'm gonna put it in a sugar box and save the store in there for if you go mining again or when we else need it. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna work on a tree farm which is gonna be very cool I think. Alright, we made everything we're gonna need for this beacon. I made a little bit more but that's just because I had some spare blocks so yeah. I just had them laying around, so we're gonna add those to our little collection here. And it actually lines up perfectly because I have zero blocks of iron left, which is quite satisfying. Okay, but now I'm gonna build a tree farm and then I'll kiss you guys later because th this is gonna be very grindy. Did I just say kiss? I really hope I didn't say kiss. Before I do anything else, I just wanna give a quick little shout out to everyone that's good at the redstone. People can create such amazing things with redstone and I'm so incredibly impressed that people like Il Mango just make tutorials and it's just... Oh, it's, it's so helpful. I'm not too good at it myself. I know I made a few videos on it But these people are yeah, they're, they're pretty insane. So let's have a look down here We made one of Il Mango's designs. I'll make sure to leave a video link in the description as well So yeah, this is the tree farm guys. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I mean, it's It's looking pretty industrial. I'm probably not gonna make this look any good because I mean I just have no idea how. Okay, so let me show you how this works. This is a pretty complex farm and I have no clue how to explain all of it, so just take a look at the mangoes video if you want to see how it works. But I'll give you a short demonstration. There we go, it's turned on, and now we should hopefully see that it grows. I guess the suspense will be... What? Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we should hopefully get some more saplings from this. But yeah, this is a pretty nuts farm. It produces a lot of items per hour, more than I could do just by farming. And this is fully AFK, but if I said a click her up or just keep my mouse down it's all gonna do its own job I don't need to do anything here and also it should be blown up around there let me just disable it this is all we get from here this is a really 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 good farm and yeah I'm probably gonna use it a lot in this world but now here's the important part because this thing uses a lot a lot of bone meal so and we don't have a single scattered spawner so what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go looking for a dual scattered spawner and why are you in there and after some time looking, I finally found a skeleton spawner, which is really handy for our tree farm. And yeah, I didn't spend a long time making this thing. It's a pretty, it's actually a really bad design to be honest. But I just need some bones to get the farm going. And please don't shoot me. So we have all that we need from here. And now it's time to get working on some details over at our pyramids. Okay, I just finished a tiny little part of this. And it's, it's already taking me a couple of minutes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put this into time lapse, otherwise it would be way too long of footage and of time lapse. So I'm just gonna do I'm gonna just build these islands and then we'll put the details into a time lapse. But all of this will be way too long to put it into an actual time lapse, so yeah.
The second I hit record, I get blown up by two creepers. Not one, but two creepers. Oh, please tell me they've not blown up everything in here. Oh, they have. There is a lot of mobs around here. That's one thing I really need to fix. At least lamps over here were pretty good. But no, I, I need to have a lot more stuff to this in terms of lighting. And besides that, I actually did find a stall disc. Let's listen to it. And I think we're gonna round up to this video with music on our back. I had a lot of fun filming all of this and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, feel to like and subscribe, which is always really helps me out. And yeah, bye bye.